show your support. Like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am that British guy and welcome to my review of the free PlayStation Plus games for the PS Vita in the month of December. Now the games that we are looking at are Wanted Corp and Former 8 and that game is also available on the PS4. Starting off with Wanted Corp, now this game is a top-down action-based game. You control two bounty hunters who are basically charged with going to all these various different locations to hunt down wanted criminals and capture them or kill them. Now one of the characters is just an out and out shooter, the other one uses psychic abilities to trap and hunt the enemies and you can freely switch between either of them. Personally I found it easier using the shooter and then letting the computer control the other character for me. Now as you progress through the levels you get points based on your performance and you are able to use these points in between different levels to unlock better weapons and sort of upgrade your characters things like that and then you can go back to those earlier stages and improve your score. What this game does however quite nicely is allows you to actually succeed without needing to upgrade everything right from the beginning. Yes you will be able to go back to these levels and get better scores but the scores that you get are perfectly serviceable for progressing through the game level by level as you go through. Obviously they do increase in difficulty as you go through as well, um, so you will need to be sort of upgrading as you go, but it's not a necessity to play through a level as much as you can, get some points, upgrade a few bits and then go back to that level again. And because of this you're not having to repeat sections over and over and over again before you can progress through. You can go straight through to the next stage fairly easily and then go back to those stages at a later time if you do so wish or just completely play through the game once and there you go. Um, in terms of the controls it was, it was fairly easy. It was just sort of movement and shoot and dash really. There wasn't too much depth to it. There was sort of an auto aiming function as well for the majority of it so it was fairly easy to target the enemies who sort of just charge at you really. They don't have any particular sort of difficult weaponry to get round or special attacks or anything like that that you need to kind of work out how to beat. It's just a case of sort of evading and shooting really but nice little distraction and obviously because it's a Vita game this tends to sort of shorten the levels down so that you can kind of pick up, do a level or two and then put the game down without too much trouble. So that keeps the whole thing quite fast paced which is always nice. The other game we're looking at is Former 8 and as I said earlier this game is also available on the PS4. Now in this you control basically a weird black blob thing called a Former and you get stranded on this alien planet separated from other similar black blobs and as you go through you get a few bits of sort of basic weaponry like a, an energy charge that you can deflect enemies away from with and these sort of mines as well to blast through sort of weakened walls and get rid of a larger group of enemies and you basically have to sort of fly your way through these various levels collecting different energy power-ups and avoid taking too much damage and blowing up really. We seem to have seen quite a few of these games in a similar vein on the PS Vita in the last few months and they all kind of blend into each other really. You're just this indiscernible spherical blob and you have to make your way through a level without getting killed. They're becoming very much of a muchness and um, none of them are really standing out from any of the others in the crowd so there's not really a lot else to say about this game. I can't see why you would get it on the PS4. I suppose it wouldn't be too bad to sort of pick up and put down on a Vita if you were that way inclined but it just really hasn't got anything about it to be honest and I would still maintain that the best PS Vita game that has been available for free 
in the last few months has been Hue. It's got a bit of charm to it. There's a added skill involved and it's just constructed in a different sort of way than just floating through a level trying to avoid things or sort of shooting at things, which is what a lot of the others are becoming, unfortunately. So, moving on to Buy, Try or Fly. Here are the two games. First we have Wanted Corp and that is usually 9.49 on PlayStation Store and we also have Former 8 and that is 7.99 on the PlayStation Store and as I've already said is also available for the PS4. Now first up with Wanted Corp, um, it was a pretty good little game, very easy to sort of just pick up and get involved with straight away. There is a bit of a storyline to get lost in as you go through and a reason as to why you're hunting down these various different renegades which is quite a nice little added extra um, or voiced over as well which is always good. 9.49 isn't too bad either for new games at the moment so if you do use your Vita quite a lot and want something else to add to it I would say that this is definitely worth buying especially if you're a fan of this type of game. If you're a little bit unsure I would then suggest sort of trying it before the games change over in January. I appreciate there's not a lot of time for that but given that it's a pretty good game I would say that it's definitely worth purchase anyway if you do happen to miss the window with this one. Moving on to Format 8, yes this one is only $7.99, yes you can play this on the PlayStation 4 as well, but as I said in the main review for this game it just seems so similar to all of the other PS Vita games of the past few months. This one doesn't really add anything extra to that experience and for that reason I would suggest flying from it. You may want to try it if you enjoy that sort of basic puzzle game but there's not really a lot to it to be honest. It comes very samey very quickly and if you've already downloaded a few of those other games from previous months you're not really missing out by not having this one to be honest. I definitely wouldn't suggest buying it either. Maybe try it, but personally I would just say fly away from it. So there we go, they are my thoughts on the free PlayStation Plus games for the PS Vita in the month of December. If you have played either of these games yourself, please let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Also, if you do have a PS4 or a PS3, please check out my other two videos for the December games. Obviously, PlayStation will be changing over their games very, very soon, so I will be trying those out and releasing those throughout January. But until that time, I have been that British guy, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.